This video explains the ROS procedure, an operation that can be used to treat congenital aortic valve disease in some patients. For an explanation of congenital aortic valve disease, you may wish to watch our video on bicuspid aortic valve. When aortic valve surgery is required, the most common operation is to implant a new valve, either mechanical or tissue. We explain these in our video on bicuspid aortic valve. In some patients, the ROS operation is an alternative option to standard valve replacement. On the left side of the heart, blood is pumped out of the left ventricle to the body via the aorta. The aortic valve opens to let the blood out and closes to prevent blood returning into the heart. On the right side of the heart, blood is pumped out of the right ventricle to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary valve opens to let blood out and closes to prevent blood returning to the heart. In a ROS operation, the diseased aortic valve and a small amount of the aorta are removed. The patient's own pulmonary valve and a small amount of the pulmonary artery are also then removed and sewn into where the aortic valve used to be to become the new aortic valve. A short tube containing a valve called a homograft is then sewn in to become a new pulmonary valve. The homograft originally comes from a human donor having been preserved until required. The advantages of the Ross operation are that there is no requirement to take blood thinning warfarin treatment and, in children, the new aortic valve can grow as the child grows. Lifelong follow-up is required after a ROS operation to monitor the function of the new aortic valve and the homograft.